everybody, how are you today? So in this video, I want to talk to you about the shift. What is the shift? Like, what is it really? Well, first of all, not to scare you, it's an energetic shift. However, you're seeing a lot of things that are preparatory for it in your life. And what that means is that you probably have had an awakening, an activation. That's when it can go weird on you, where it feels like things flip upside down. A lot of times when people ask me what I do, I tell them life coaching to kind of put them on a track of like, this has to do with people's lives, literally their lives. But what it really is, is it's about the best spiritual awakening ever. And that is the shift. That is to truly waken people so that they can crack off all that crust of the past and make sure that they are getting on the track of what they're truly gifted in. So it goes beyond some of those things that you see that are inspirational on the Instagram, like know your worth. For a lot of people, they have other responsibilities in their life and they don't know how to focus that and how to sift out their kids' stuff, their parents' stuff, their work stuff, and really focus it for themselves. That is what I'm capable of helping people with because the shift being energetic, it is an energetic thing. The other thing to know is that your body and your spirit will do something for you. Your body is going to make you shove off and so will your spirit. Your spirit will shove off so fast from things that you don't need to engage in anymore or that you don't need to connect with right now or that it just doesn't want any part of it anymore. Why? Because they do not want to take more of the 3D crap. There's a lot of crap that goes around. A lot of it is still carryover from 3D. You're going somewhere. Recently in one of my classes, I had someone who joined who was a wife, a mom, and she asked me a flat out question. Why would this happen to me? And I said the very first thing that I felt, which is to heal, okay? But it's not like she cut herself and she's got to heal that. I wasn't like, here's a Band-Aid and some ointment. Go and heal that and, you know, see me in like seven days. What does she need to heal? She needs to heal from being submerged, from being suppressed, from having the things that birthing those ch children were going to do to her body. So it's preventative. This shift is intended to be preventative, preventing you from falling into the mode of your ancestors. And that's huge. If someone said to you, hey, the whistle's been blown, game over, the old games are over, time to get off the playground, time to get out of the sandbox, you got a whole new playing field to get into, and we're not playing. This is for real now. All that other stuff was practice. You'd be like, oh my God, wow. You'd light up. Well, that's what your spirit is doing. Your spirit is lighting up because it doesn't have to take it anymore. It doesn't have to be there. Stay stuck. Stay in it. Now, if I go rewind and go back to this example, a wife, a mom, and she's like, why this? Why now? Why before I was married? Why didn't it happen before I was married? Preventative. Okay, now when someone receives their life force back, that is huge. That is the alchemy of the love that is needed to really solidify that healing process. So the next thing is illness will come up. We don't think of illness sometimes in a way of, you know, it could be simmering in us. It is felt sometimes as a crisis. People are in crisis mode when they find out they're ill or they've gone a long time with a certain lifestyle and then find out, well, guess what? You're showing signs of cancer or you have some debilitating chronic thing now, right? And even worse, if you have two people and one of them is pulling the other one down, how does that work? Well, illness will come up. Now, I have found the keys to some of this. The key is being proactive. The key is not being afraid and trusting that maybe it'll be different now and that it is intended to be different. And number three, you might have more power than you really realize you do. And that power is not going to come from astrology and tarot cards. And, you know, that's just to encourage you. 
The real power, it's in your body. How do you know some of some of this? Your dreams will show you and your they will show you things about your body, your family. So if you've ever had dreams where you are, uh, let's say, eating glass or eating sticks or eating like ice or something like that, you probably have some nutritional malnourishment somewhere having to do with the elements, having to do with trace minerals. What is it though? Well, that is also where I come in. What is it that you may need that is a trace of something that your body is showing you through a dream that you're trying to get, okay? A lot of times it's iron. A lot of people need more iron. I will say this, when it comes to the shift, part of the shift and part of being who you are and doubling up your energies means you need to bolster up the tissues of your body. You need more nutrition. You need better nutrition. You may need supplements. I have found them to be extremely helpful. I know there's people out there that like, they just want to hold a bottle and think they can gain all the benefit. No, that is just actually not even common sense. Okay. The plants and the rocks are here and they can help us. Some plants won't help you too much, but the right ones will. Sometimes certain rocks and elements, they can hurt you, but the right ones can help you. Sometimes complex compounds, like uh, if you take a vitamin, for example, that helps your body ramp it up and keep you healthy even as you are aging. So when you talk about reversing the aging process, this is all a part of it. The true nature of this, the shift, the true nature of the shift will begin to sift through. It's unavoidable. So as we head into the equinox of 2023, the fall equinox in the north, the spring equinox in the south, you're going to find that a lot of the things that are shifting do filter through. They sift through and they are a part of what needs you to change. So the last thing I'm going to leave you with is 2024 will not be like 2023. I encourage you to be proactive. Please check us out at Twin Flame Reconnection. Twin Flames Merge is now Twin Flame Reconnection. We got our stuff in place and we are moving forward because we are here to help more people. Check us out for books or book a session and have coaching. Thanks now. Bye.